and Katie Steiner Basler and their son, Theodore Kyle Steiner Basler. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to have all of you uh, make some promises together. Uh, so Kathy's going to lead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone redo the order. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> there she is, right there. Clara Beth Bjorkland. Beth, oh, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> no apology needed whatsoever. We'll, 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 we'll just blame our tech guy for the fact that the slide's not on there or his line manager, whoever that is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is Kathy's going to lead them through a promise as families. Um, and then I'll lead you guys through a congregational or community promise that we'll make in return. And then we'll bring each child down in turn and I'll pray over them and they will all behave beautifully. Sure. Okay. As God has given this child, these children, to you, to love and care for, do you, therefore, give them back to God? Do you promise when your child is able to understand what Jesus' life, death, and resurrection means to loving, uh, lovingly share with them how they can become a disciple of Jesus? Do you promise to teach this child the scriptures to pray with them and for them, to love them unconditionally, and to discipline them consistently, bringing your child up to walk in the way of Jesus, with the heart of Jesus. Okay, now friends, it's your turn. And so if you call South Fellowship part of it, your, if you call it your home, uh, and you want to participate in what God is doing in the lives of of these families, then I'm going to ask you to make a promise that is similar. So I'm going to ask you to stand for this part because standing feels like it's an appropriate thing to do right now. So here's my question for you as a church body. Do you, South Fellowship Church, in the name of the visible church of our Lord Jesus Christ, take responsibility for the continued Christian nurture of these children, promising to set a godly example by your own life, and to pray for these families and their journeys of faith. We do. We do. And so that's a, that's a great promise to make. And so, as Kathy said, find a family after the service. If there's one family with like seven or eight people around them, find a different family. You don't have to all gravitate towards the same family. But, but find a family and pray for them and, and make that part of your commitment. Feel free to have a seat. And we're going to let the adventure begin with the first child. So can we have the slides back in the, yeah, there we go. Nathan, where are you, Nathan? Come on, Nathan, I'm going to pray with you. Can you come up here and say hi to all these people with me? Oh, I'm going to pick you up. Oh, no, no, you're not heavy. How are you doing? You see all those people you want to say hi? Hi. Oh, man, Nathan, you're a cutie. So, Nathan, I'm going to pray for you because you're a special kid. And Jesus loves you very much. You know that? Okay. Nathan, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and bring you peace. May you know this is your father's wealth and you do not need to be afraid. May you know him and serve him all your days. Amen. Bless you, Nathan. Ah, you're a gem. Good for you. You can go back to your parents. There we go. Ah, man. Okay, Julian. Julian, 